Hello friends. So I went and did a thing. I figured it's been a long time and no one's really talked about America's thrift supply in quite a while for their jewelry. Um, now Kristen D talks about their purses. Um, she gets quite a few really nice purses from there. And so I decided to use her discount code and order me a five pound bag, and this is literally a bag, um, of repurposed jewelry, just to see how it compares to Goodwill. So I have two Goodwill boxes coming. Uh, one is from Tennessee, one is from New Jersey, and then this one. So, we're going to take a look at this. Oh, I guess I don't even need scissors. Um, pull tab. I can pull tab. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's, it's inside a bag. So, with Kristen's discount... I paid $43.98 for a five pound mystery bag. So, let's dig in. What the heck is that? Okay, um, <laughs> sorry, that just caught my attention. Um, so I know, what was it last year, year before, people were getting them. Um, getting these bags and at first they were pretty decent and then they became not so decent so so we have an Italian horn um, butterfly some bling some faux pearls Okay, bag is open. Um, let's see what else do we have? Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, got a necklace. Some earrings. Some earrings in a bag. An earring without a bag. So, okay, um, you know what? Let's just dig in. And so here's the earring without. It's just a uh, uh, tin, or actually it feels like plastic, but it's kind of neat. And it kind of goes with uh, St. Patrick's Day that's coming up. So we'll put, um, let's see, let me put those over there. Put rings and earrings to the side. Oh, so this is an easy fix for replating the back of this and the front. <laughs> um, I'm sure these are just all rhinestones. And is this focusing? There we go. Um, I'm sure these are just all glass. I mean, it's a nice weight curb chain. It just needs a little resilvering, which I'm going to be doing um, on the on not only this but another piece. So, okay, I can do that. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, that is slightly magnetic. So we'll put this in the okay, but needs some work pile. Oh dear. It's a wire necklace or bracelet. We all know how I feel about these. Yeah. Okay, someone will love it. 
We'll just put this into craft. Move, scooch you back out. Oh well, isn't that a sexy piece? There we go. That has a little bit of wear, um, but all its little chachas are there. No maker. Oops. There we go. There's the color side. <laughs> now that I have it facing correctly. Um, so chain has a little bit of wear on it, but everything's here. So I'm going to put that in the maybe, the maybe pile. And we have a three piece bracelet. Where is it? How's it go? Oh my goodness. I'm hopeless. <laughs> I'm hopeless. <laughs> okay, I've got a chain. This is supposed to be, I know it's supposed to be a bracelet. There we go. Maybe. No, that's not it either. Goodness gracious. What happened to this? There's one. Okay. I, for some reason, it seems like... There we go. So, it's a little little tight on the stretch so I would say after all the time I spent those precious seconds I would put this into a craft just due to the fact that the stretch is not good it's gonna have to be redone oh well I lost something um, Just in case. One never knows. There we go. Alright, so we have a B. Um, the stones are all there. We'll just try to get that to focus. So the stones are all there. The chain has lost its silvering, its silver. Um, nothing on that side. And we have WGB. Um, you know, that has come up before, and I don't remember what that was about. Um, but yeah, I mean, not bad, and it'll give me a chance to test out my, um, um, you know what, maybe this just needs a wipe down. Maybe it hasn't, maybe it wasn't, hasn't lost all its, its stuff, because it's still pretty pretty sparkly. Maybe it just needs a wipe down. Okay. Um, this one has lost its stone. Or stones, uh, plural. Um, and another one here. So three. We're missing three. And no maker. So for right now, we'll put that in craft. We have a pretty cool looking pendant. 
needs to be have a little wipe down. This is oh KC. Um I know that one too. But not off the top of my head. And this is in good condition, so I'm gonna say yes. Oh, a stretch is not good with this one. Um, there's no maker mark, but look at those pretty stones. I'm, man, I might just try my hand at doing this one. I'm gonna put this in. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, craft, but not real craft. So these look like they, they're cooler to the touch. They are metallic. Um, or magnetic, not metallic, magnetic. Nice stretch. Um, they're kind of like a, a rough um, um uh, like a dark silver. So I'm good with that. Uh, we have a th one threader earring so far. No marking. We'll put that to the side with the earrings. We have a little ring. Let's see. This is threaded. Okay, so we have, if tears could build a stairway and memories a lane, I'd walk right up to heaven and bring you home again. Oh, it's a remembrance necklace. How sweet. It's glass. Chain is excellent. No maker. Oh, yes, sweet. It does have a maker. Does it go this way or that way? Um, so it has a maker, but I don't know who that is. So we'll have to check that out. Um, that is so sweet. Aw. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so I don't. This reminds me of brass. It's hard to say. There we go. I'm going to say this is brass. This is an a really old clasp. Um, so we're just going to hook this through. And let's let's take a look. In or out? Let's see. Here we go. So these have a lot of hairspray on them. Um, these are faux, I think. Gosh darn it. Um, Those holes are awfully clean, but they don't, they don't have any coldness to them, so I'm going to go with faux, but, you know, get the hairspray off of them, and this is a really nice piece of history. So, yeah. 
Let's see what we've got here. Something has come undone from its string. So these two are almost like Mardi Gras type. Okay, we're just not going to work that. So these are just faux. I'm going to put them in craft. Okay, so who has come undone? Okay, maybe, maybe that one or maybe something in the bag. So here's another necklace with, um, this must be, yeah, these are faux. Uh, these have lost their luster, unfortunately, so those will be craft. Oh, this long string which we will get rid of. And these are definitely faux. I can actually I can actually see the the mark on the side where they've molded them. So um so those are done. Oh, okay. Um This was a very expensive bracelet that the clasp has come off. So I don't know if this can be super glued, maybe, or wood glued back on and disclosed, because this is teak. And my recollection is that these bracelets, I can't remember the maker, but they typically are very popular and expensive. So I'm going to put this in the, I need to fix it, see if I can fix it. All right, we have an earring back. Magnetic, but the clasp, the actual clasp is missing, and the stretch on this is not good. So this will go into craft for someone to harvest these really pretty faux stones. Almost, oh, I'm, I'm thinking Trafari. But I don't could be Avon, but I don't see any markings anywhere. But it's a really pretty piece. It's a big one. Um this is a two two and three quarter inch just for the pendant. And it is an actual um, pendant fascinator. Um, so that's nice. Good chains in good shape. <clears throat> so, yes. And who are you, my beauty? Goodness, earring. Oh boy. Let's put those aside. Oh, we have a Chico's. I think this is supposed to be a belt. Let me unhook this earring. Here we go.
Oh yeah, this is the belt. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Work with me. Okay. All right, well, let's just see. Um, this is so pretty. I wish my waist was that much smaller. Okay, so all the stones are there. Yes. Yes. I will get that unhooked. Yes. Yes. It's looking good. It's looking good. We're at the end. Oh, yeah. This is a really nice piece. Um, for summer, this is going to be awesome. As soon as I can get it um, undone. So we've got one. Let's just pretend. So 18. 36, 37, 38. So this is, um, oops, there we go. Um, so this is 38 inches ish long, and it's all the stones are there. Gorgeous piece, totally worth the money. Um, I've got stuff. Okay. Here's the other earring. Okay, we'll just put that over there. Uh, so we have a bangle that is made out of what I would say is tin, but it's actually in really good shape. So, okay, keep earring, marble, a lot of little earrings. Oops, stay, no, stay. That ball wants to come over and play with his friends. pretty pendant. Um, great for St. Patrick's Day coming up this weekend. Um, not that y'all will be able to get this done. Uh, I think the chain just needs to be wiped down. This is definitely filthy. Uh, no maker's mark, but otherwise good to go. Thankfully, we have a non-stretch bracelet that, let's take a look at it um, so filthy but <laughs> that's par for the course um, so cute little I'm assuming those are butterflies um, and this is there we go um, a little on the smaller side, so I would say seven, possibly in a quarter. Um, but otherwise, good condition, all the stones are there. <laughs> That's sweet. That's a sweet necklace. Here, you can look at that while I untangle this. Um, you know, it's just a sweet little necklace um, for summer. It's great for the beach. It actually almost looks like little seashells, but it's not. Um, this lot has like a slight smoky, like cigarette smoky smell to it. Okay, earring. That helps. Okay. Do we have more earrings in here? So, um... This is a multi-strand that is 
pretty short. Um, if we put these together, there we go. Um, well, okay, 16 inches for the short one and 20 for the long. It's really pretty, lightweight, it's, you know, costume, but it's in good, good condition. It's not any tone loss. Oh, look, we have two. Okay, um, I'm going to put these over here so I don't lose them. So we need one more. And we will have a necklace. Yay. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, lots of little earrings. Okay. Uh, Fabulina. I don't know if that's going to... There you go. Yes, Fabulina. Oops, wrong way. So it is a faux Italian horn on a long, multi, let's see, most of these are wooden beads and these are metal of some type, not manette hot magnetic and then there's this beautiful crystal so okay I'll go with that Goodness. Um, oh I see multi Or is it? No, it's two. It's two different ones. So we have a choker by canvas. Yes, we have a choker by canvas. Mm -hmm. yeah, a craft. And we have a faux. It feels like plastic. Um, or acrylic. Um, tiny little necklace. Oh my goodness, how. Yeah, it's 14 and a quarter ish. Um, but it's, it's pretty, it's in good condition, you know. Um, the good condition thing is winning over from some of the Goodwill lots. Um, another back, another back. Okay, this definitely has <laughs> an issue. It's, it's wire, but the wire has broken. And it's lost some of its stones, it's lost a lot of its stones. So, craft. Stretch actually is good with this one. Um, don't see a maker, and this is one of those fibrous bands. That's probably why it's in better condition. So, yay! Ooh, Roman. So we have a Roman stationary faux pearl necklace multi-strand. That's really pretty. These are, are lovely co colors. It's um, like cups of coffee. We have mocha, latte, and flat white. <laughs> so I may have to keep this one <laughs> because I love coffee. <laughs> um, and, I, and yes, I do drink my coffee pretty much black. I rarely put something into it. Um, this one has seen better days. I don't... Hmm. All right, let's see. Oh, you know what? This buffs right up. Gosh darn it. 
Okay, so we'll just have to buff this up. It just needs to be cleaned. All right. Um, a choker, a beaded choker, and well, let's you know what. Oh yep, mag or um, magnetic, but it's very well done, and there's really not much tone loss. So um, that could be a piece to uh, put in a lot. What is this? Is this supposed to be an earring? I'm gonna put it in earring because I don't know. Another magnetic bracelet. This one doesn't have any missing stones because there's no stones in it. Um, it's in good condition, so um, that's a that's a good sellable piece. We have a cross, a little, little blingy cross. Oh, hello. I think this is silver. Um, so I have a little blingy cross and there's an S on the back. So... I don't see anything on that. Let's give it the test. Well, um, you can't do that one. It's okay. It's not sticking. <sighs> Let's see if these are glass. Well, I guess I should see if this is. Haven't. Okay. Uh, so that's working. I'm sure these are glass. Not glass. These are just... Or... Are they? Good night. Okay, so these are not even glass. Um, so, I mean, that does have the look of silver. I guess we could test it. We'll just have a little test. It'll be fine. Oops. Run away. Oh, this is one of those multi-chains, isn't it? A good night. Okay. So, this is a multi-chain in rose gold. It has several little things going on. And has a little bit of tone loss, so I'm, I'm not even going to bother trying to undo that one. We'll just put it in craft. Someone... Yeah, so these are faux pearls. This is going to be craft. Claire's. Well, isn't that pretty? Oh, my goodness, there's a lot of 
little littles in here. Had I known, could have gotten something to put those in. So this Claire's piece. We've got, we'll say a choker that goes to 13 inches extending to 16 inches, has a little drop and a little tiny piece that goes in front, um, multi-chain, this is really cute, okay, we can do that. Something's flaking. Okay. Um, time and true. I think that's Target or is it Walmart? I'm not sure. Uh, little faux. This will be um, probably to put into a lot. Um, W. Worthington? I think this is Worthington. There you go. Close enough. It's a rustic... What do we have here? We have a stone where the... It's losing its um, cover. We have a piece of glass, a piece of, I'm assuming, ceramic, probably a piece of glass. Coating, that's what it is. It's losing its coating. Um, we're just going to put that in craft. It's a little too rustic. A lot of magnetic closures. This one has a little faux pearl. Chain is in good condition. Oh, okay, this one's just filthy. Let's get it unwound. Oh my gosh, this one feels like it's been like somebody was near cooking with a lot of grease. Um, there is no, well, yeah, there's no mark on that. Um, see, they're too heavy. I think this is copper. I think it's a copper necklace. Um, oh, I can test the metal and find out. But it's in good condition except for that it feels like it's been dipped in olive oil or something. Aw, cute little bracelet. Ooh, stretches really bad, so craft. Oh, we found one of those beads off that necklace or uh, bracelet. It's a lot of earring backs. Here's another craft. Oh, multi chain. Little pieces of faux stone looking acrylic pieces in varying shades of purple. So we have plum, we have a very light pinkish purple, and then we have a kind of grape color. Um, just needs a wipe down.
sweet little um, bracelet. Very dainty. Claire's. Mm, hard to tell if this is just dirty or not, so we'll just still have to figure that out later. Claire's. Oh, uh, it's missing one bead, so put that in craft unless it shows up. I'm not untangling this. Um, it's a nice little cross pendant. Um, stones, though, this one is yellowed. These are probably glass. Well, they're slippery. Nope. Okay. So these are not glass. These are plastic. Uh, so we'll just put that in craft. And then we have this pretty pendant um, teardrop. And I know this is not, this can't be glass. And it's not. Um, but I'll put it in craft. Be nice if I could figure out where that cigarette, which piece has the cigarette smoke on it. So the cord has seen better days, um, as in it just needs to be. Well, it's not that it's seen better days. It's in actually really good condition. It's just that it's warped. Um, I don't see any markings on this. It's odd that it would have a, like another piece in here, like you would string it on a necklace when it's solidly together. Um, but it's a nice piece. It's in good condition. Okay. Let's gather up the masses. Um, aw. Sweet little um, coin pearl. The stretch is good, so okay. This must be the St. Patrick's Day lot. <laughs> There's a lot of green items in here, which is, I mean, nothing wrong with that. I like green. Um, it's, I've just never had this much green in a lot. Oh, we have another one of these. Um, another. Okay. Earring. Okay. Um, earring. Stretch is not good. We'll put this in a craft. Goodness gracious. A lot of earring backs. Uh, this is not only tiny, but the stretch has seen its day, so um, 
kind of reminds me of silver, but it's, it's just going to go in craft. Uh, so we have a black Italian horn. Looks exactly like the other one. And it is Fabulina. Now these are real. The weight, the coldness, um, these are really pretty. Uh, these are kind of like a gunmetal black, white, and gray. Um, the string, the string on them actually isn't too bad. Um, Drat, um, had to sneeze, I accidentally hit the camera off instead of pause. Uh, so these are very nice. These are fresh water, um, really lovely string strand. They just need to be straightened out a little bit. And that's probably from being in the bag. So, great. Here's another one of these faux pearl necklaces that actually these could be glass. They're heavier, have a little bit of coldness to them. They are definitely not real, I don't think. <laughs> let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look at these. You know what? These are real. It has nothing to do with knots. It has everything to do with the hole. And look how dirty my hands are. Um, so, and the luster. Um, the luster on these, and they're not exactly perfect. You can see that there's some lumps and bumps here. Um, so that's two strands of real pearls. So, yay. These are just inexpensive class. Um, I'm 90% sure. And of course this one, somebody jammed in there. So I can't, I can't get it out. It's, it's jammed in there. Um, I seriously doubt this is well you know what here um slightly magnetic so I'm gonna say cheap class nice pearls It's a nice little, I wouldn't say statement piece, but it kind of reminds me of a sand dollar. <laughs> it's not, but um, it's nice. I've actually not seen this uh, pattern before. It's in good condition. Um, then we have a seed bead, multi color, um, tassel necklace, very good condition. Um, no markings, very long, fun, festive. Okay, so this is a well-made piece. Um, what? Okay, so there's just some kind of goo on this one. Um, these are slightly cold. I would say these are... What in the world is on this? Oh, okay. So these are coming out. Okay. So um, we'll just put that in craft. I'm losing my camera. I'm going to put this one in craft. I'm going to have to finish this um, after I 
recharge my battery. We'll just leave it as it is and come back. Okay, the phone is now recharged. It's the next day. Um, so we're just going to uh, come back to where we left off, which... Make sure we get all this up here. My goodness, there's so many of these little earring things. Bead. Uh, so we've got quite a few earrings in this. I have no idea what that is. Oh, well, it's some kind of... Um, crystal. So, um, Hamza came off a chain. This one actually is written. It's almost as if it was meant to be a purse charm, maybe. Um, so we'll put that aside. Earrings. Oh, <laughs> well, that has seen better days. Um, this looks like it's plated as part of it. Yeah, definitely plated. So, uh, Definitely craft. Mm, okay, this just needs to be lined back up and it's perfectly good. This one needs to be. Beads are fabulous, but definitely the stretch is 100% con. So, craft. All that over. The end of the bag. Oh, how funny. UT. Um, since this bag came from Alabama, um, they obviously get things from Texas as well. Um, <laughs> this just doesn't want to stay. Uh, there we go. Uh, so this someone will want... It's a lot. It's this is a, a long one. Um, so we're talking seven and a half inches slider. There's not a maker, but it's nice. It's in good condition. There's no there's no tarnish. So okay. much wear on this one. Oh, one of my favorites. People who know me, and you will get to know me if you continue watching, is that I love Napier. And I do have a Napier piece in here. And it's really good wear. Um... This seems familiar that I want to say this is probably 70s, 80s, very good condition, and if it fits, 
I may keep that. I'm starting a little Napier collection here. Um, so definitely a great piece. A uh, stretch is not good on this one. It's a really pretty piece. Tiny. I mean, like, really tiny. Um, but unfortunately, the stretch is gone in that. Another metal. Uh, ooh, well, stretch is good in that one. So, okay, we'll put this in the okay. And we might just do like a bangle bracelet lot. Um, these, you don't have to worry about the stretch going bad because it's all metal. So maybe put that into a lot. Um, bead off of something. So I think mm, these are all, for the most part, earrings. With the exception of this one, what do we have here? Um, I don't see any marking. Not really metallic. I mean, magnetic. Um, let's just do a little scratch and we'll see if it comes out copper or not. Ouch. need a better scratch. Oh, hold on. There we go. That's a good scratch. I know. It's a toothbrush. These little, you know, I use these little baby toothbrushes. Um, they come five to a pack, and I think I got the pack for $1.50. But the, the brush is soft enough to clean jewelry without scratching it. So, not 925. Let's see what we've got. Let's do it on the white one. And since I have it, I might as well just do it twice. Okay. Let's see if it comes out a color. this is about. So when you have these testing kits, you can actually um, find out the base metal by using 10 carat instead of 18 carat. So let's see. Alright, let's see if this turns a color. Okay. 
Um, blue. So it has nickel in it. So it's nickel based. Okay. Okay. So not silver or anything else. It's just, it's nickel based. Um, but it's a good chain. So I'm happy with that. And we have an earring. So last necklace of the batch. It's in good condition. All the all the stones are there and it's a I mean it's not marked but that's okay. It's a nice piece. So we're keeping that. Um let's take a look. Let me get all the earrings over and then we'll go through them. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to go through, find out what is magnetic. Just gonna put it over here. Um, these are just crafting beads because they fell, the um, elastic broke got a little cha-cha off of something, I have no idea, um, no match, um, that just looks like regular, I don't know if that has a match or not, this could be, this could be glass, oh, I didn't turn this back on, um, rid of that one. Magnetic class. That's probably seen better days. Okay, so we have surprisingly quite a few matches. So we have these really pretty, uh, you know, no maker, but they're really pretty and there's a little bit of weight to them. Nothing major. Earrings, which... I'm going to put the matches together. Um, these, unfortunately, this is missing. So, craft. These are kind of cool. Um, you know, these kind of have the feel that they were made in, like in Japan or um, somewhere such as that. So, they have a faux button pearl and velvet around the center and you know these man to me these are screaming 50s maybe 60s but um, so I think these are really cool those are I've never seen earrings like that before uh, this pair No maker that I can see, but really pretty. Um, those will be a great summer piece. Unfortunately, we did not get the match to this one. I would have wore that tonight. I'm going to a birthday party. So we'll put that in craft um, for someone who, or Alex, you know what? I should put that in a one earring lot. Um, I'll get it later. I'm going to start putting my one earrings together because at some point I'm going to go, I think I have that one. Uh, so these cute little flowers, uh, costume, but pretty, and they're a match. We have these two, which these, these definitely feel like they are um, a plastic type substance, but... They are pretty.
these came hooked together. They do have some um, verdigris on them, so it tells me they're not a precious metal. It's real simple to get rid of verdigris. Um, maybe I will do a little video um, on how I do that. Um, because I don't use any of those other methods. I just use a solution of 50% water, 50% vodka. It takes care of it. No mess, no fuss. We're good to go. Door knockers. Um, these have a really heavy weight to them. Um, you know, I'm just going to take that back off because I'm just going to replace them anyway. Uh, so these are in, in good condition. I'm, you know, I mean, I'm really kind of pleasantly surprised. Um, this has seen better days, but we'll put it in craft in case somebody wants the charm. These are so pretty. I love this. Um, mixed metal. They're in good condition. Um, lightweight. Unfortunately, the strawberries... Um, I can't fix it because it's actually broke. Um, I think that I have the piece, um, the hook, because it's a screw. It's a screw in, and I think I had that here somewhere. But the little strawberry um, stem is broke, so this might be fixable because it's a screw in. So. I'll put this in here just in case because it is a match. Um, these are pretty. These are porcelain. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if these are silver. Just because the porcelain ones I found that usually they do have silver on them. Oh, it's so tiny. Okay, this is this is looking like they're silver hooks. Um, this is looking good for silver. Um, Teen. Sure enough, these are silver pieces with silver hooks, and the hooks do not have a marking on them, but they are silver, so good deal. Um, where did I put that? Where did I? These are awesome. <laughs> Look at how long they are. Um, so we have uh, three and an eighth or a quarter, excuse me, three and a quarter inch long. And all the stones are there and they're awesome. And they're heavy. I mean, they're, they've got some nice weight to them. Matched pair, and these are really pretty. These are very light. I think these are just a reproduction of retro. So we'll just call them retro. Unfortunately, this one did not have a match, so um, we'll put this in a single earring is what I'm going to do. 
this threader we did not get the match to, which is sad. So we'll put this in a single earring. These did have the match, matching pair. They need to be cleaned up and oh my goodness. I'll have to see if I can get that unbent without it breaking. Uh, so we'll just put those in the match so that I don't lose them. These are not silver, but they look pretty good. Um, no marking, but they're nice, so we'll keep them. <laughs> we have little purses, little earring purses. They're so cute. Uh, so we'll put those in. We have matching butterflies. These came in their own little paper, so we know they're matching, and they're new. Uh, so we'll put those into the match bag. We have a bunch of silverbacks, and I'm going to put them in the match bags just so I don't... They're not silver, they're silver tone. There we go. These, let's see, got a couple rings match no matter oh that was an earring okay well then we should be able to fix that I'll pull that other one out so we'll have a match these are matchless see here. These are all little studs. Some of them have a match, some of them don't. So we're just going to put these all over to the side. We did get the stones off that one bracelet, so I will fix it and put it back together since that's all it was missing. We got this cute little ring. Um, actually, I think this is a um, plastic. I don't even think it's a metal. Uh, size six and three quarters, seven. This little faux um, adjustable. I want to say it's copper. Hmm. This has non-metallic or magnetic. I don't know why I keep saying metallic. Um, glass, size 7. It's pretty. It's in good condition. We have this large cross. I would assume this way or maybe if somebody has small fingers because this is smaller um, this is so let's say six six and a half all the stones are there pretty ring um, hard to tell if they wanted this to be copper or if they wanted this to be gold tone or maybe it's a combination of both um, I kind of like the back it's a little hammered and I kind of like that copper so yeah it's a good ring and it's, it's good weight so I don't know where it came from last ring is a little bypass itty bitty tiny thing um, So we're talking two and three quarters. Um, this looks like it's just rhodium plated. It doesn't feel like it's metal at all. So we'll put those aside. And then we have a blue 
I'm assuming glass cabochon off of something that maybe I put into craft. I'll have to see. We'll hang on to that. And then we have these. Um, let me move these up. So these are... We're missing one. Looks like it has writing on it. Still can't see it. Um, it's tiny. So it says SU nine two five and where is that other mark? Oh, um, and then it looks like it says 1M. Um, let's check another one. We'll back you up. This one is SU. Oh! It's not M, it's N. This is a better marking. Uh, so SU 925 1N or IN is what it looks like. Well, these are saying that they are silver, so we'll just get this back out again. We'll just do one. Um, let's do the one that does not have a match and see what happens. Well, it's looking pretty good. It looks like they came as a set of varying sizes. Well, let me try that again. It is, but it's not. Oh, shoot. I don't want acid on my... Well, that didn't work out very well. Well, it is, I mean, it is kind of turning a brighter blue, so Okay, so we're going to go with it. Uh, so we have two pairs of hoops that are silver. Um, so that's the box. I mean, I've got a bunch of little tiny, um, you know, studs. But overall, you know, for, for what I paid, I would say either they've done something to... Um, correct their mistake, their mistake when they started getting really bad boxes, um, and people stopped buying them, or they now have a plethora of jewelry and 
they're just saying here's a handful and see what you get kind of like Goodwill um, now Goodwill depending on the location some of them probably or even the day that they're screening um, you know things get missed because they have thousands of pounds of jewelry that they go through now America's Thrift Supply they drop their boxes um, it stated at the time I bought mine that they dropped them on Fridays so if you use Kristen D's another chance resale um, her code you get a percentage off which basically helps cover shipping um, the code is basically they told her it's going to be indefinite um, you can always use it on any box that they have with America's Thrift Supply so um, so please feel free to use it it just helps her channel helps her business um, she does a great job I love watching her purse unveils um, she does several different things she also has blue box um, designer and various different ones that she does she does occasionally do uh, thread up unboxings as well so if you're not uh, watching her please go over to her channel and um, when all three boxes are up on YouTube if you will let me know what you think of each box and at the end of the three uh, let me know what you thought between Goodwill and America's Thrift Supply so thanks for watching and being patient while I do this video and um, we'll see you on the next one